What up guys, this is a video that I am shooting inside of another video. <laughs> uh, while I still have my cousin's truck, we're actually gonna go pick up, we'll go look at right now. Uh, Fuck, we'll grab the keys. Anyhow, Brandon's going to get the keys, but we're going to look at another engine, man. Uh, a subscriber actually hit me up and was like, hey, I saw that the engine was blown. Um, he, I guess, recently did a case swap on his car, and he previously had a B-series swap inside of his car. So um, he pulled the engine. He said everything's running good. Compression test checks out. He said he'd give it to me for a good price. So we're going to go down there and go check it out right now. And if it, everything looks clean, bro, we're going to grab it. Took you long enough. What you... Let me guess. The sun's going down now. It's freaking hot in here, man. Come on, hand me the keys already. Oh, Jesus bro, Lord, bro, man. Bro, bro, Holy bro, shit. Bro, don't worry you gotta give this thing the Honda jiggle. In a quarter mile, turn right onto North 43rd Avenue. Man, y'all ain't gonna believe what it is I just did. Tell me why I pulled up to this guy's house, but I had to go knock on the door to look at this engine, and then it dawned on me. Oh yeah, I need cash. <laughs> we had to run to the ATM really quick, and now we're on our way back to the guy's house. Holy shit. Okay, go, hurry. It's gonna die. Well, the good camera died, so you guys are stuck watching a couple of clips with horrible audio from the GoPro, but we got home, we got the engine and trans home. Dude, <laughs> I got a really good deal on all this. So uh, I'm gonna go over it with you guys here in a moment once we get it all unloaded out of the truck. Oh yeah, B20B. Hold up, that makes it a JDM B20, I think. You might need an air conditioning bracket. <laughs> Coming down. That was dangerously close. Was it? Yeah, very much so. Done. 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 So we did all that work getting the backyard cleaned up and getting the damn cars out of the backyard. Now my whole front yard is filled with cars. <laughs> it's all good though, not for long. The Volkswagen's gotta go and I got my brother's truck out here because I gotta work on getting that thing cleaned up. I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys before, but that is actually my brother's nitro. He became a truck driver. It was his, like, like his new gig. That's obviously around the time when he gave me all of his tools and everything. And his truck, I've been storing in my backyard and it's kind of went to hell, bro. <laughs> sitting out there getting bird shit all over it and video i gotta get that thing cleaned up and i'm gonna be basically doing like some routine maintenance on it like changing the oil and everything getting it ready to drive to tennessee because 
that's where my brother lives at now. Anyhow, guys, now that we went hard as a motherfucker on his backyard, I'll give you guys another look at it, man. It's just, I just stare at it now. I'm like, holy freaking crap, man. Yeah, bro. Hell fucking yeah, bro. <laughs> With all this work we've been putting in in the backyard, man, I still haven't touched my garage and I've let it go to hell. Don't worry, I'm gonna spare you guys the details, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my garage cleaned up really fast and then we will get into what this new engine setup and everything is that we just went and picked up. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, we're back to current day. All that footage before now, uh, that was during the backyard fiasco when I actually had my cousin's truck, so. Oh, poor girl, man. You're gonna be back up and running in no time, dude. I promise you. I haven't had a chance to put any freaking sea time in this car, man. I mean, I did a couple pulls when we're doing our dumb little fucking street tuning shit. Fuck you, Sean. You owe me 240 bucks. I feel like it's been a while since I've said that. I don't think I ever got a chance to even tell you guys how well the little staging brake works. Ugh, man. Baby girl. Anyhow guys, I quickly realized that cleaning my garage is not gonna be a just a quick task. This corner over here, I have finished. Like, it was just filled with crap. You know, shit accumulates. Got it all swept over here and got it mopped. Set my compressor back up so I can use my air hose. Uh, I use my, my air nozzle on the compressor to blow all the dust off all my shelves and everything. OCD to the max, bro. It just dawned on me that for once, my backyard is actually cleaner than my garage, man. And that's saying a lot, bro. That's saying a lot. So I'm not gonna try to get this all done before closing this video out, dude. I just wanna show you guys what's up with this engine. And more importantly, I wanna tell you how it is that I came across owning this engine, dude. Well, certainly a huge shout out to the DB fam, for sure. Come on, motherfucker, I won't dance. All right, so what we have here is obviously the engine swap that we are gonna be throwing in the Khaki Civic. I told you guys that I wanna just get something in there to get it running and then we'll build something a little bit more serious on the side. Well, this right here is gonna be that something, dude. I got this for a really good deal. Thanks to a member of the DB fam named Ramon. Ramon hit me up and he mentioned to me that his Integra had this swap in it and it was running good and everything. He came up on a really good deal on a K24, so he is actually K swapped his Integra where he pulled his B20 VTEC swap out and he hit me up and he's like, bro, I seen what happened with the car and I wanna offer you my long block for really cheap, dude. He sold me the long block for $500. So I'm on my way to his house and I'm thinking to myself, cool, I'm about to get a long block for 500 bucks and you guys all know, like to get like just a, just a B16 or GSR head in which I was in the market for because we have Junior's block sitting here. People normally want four or 500 bucks for a head. So I'm thinking a long block B20 VTEC for 500 bucks. Hell yeah, that's one hell of a deal. Dude, we didn't only get a long block, but we got the whole swap. It's got a Skunk 2 intake manifold on it. It's got a fuel rail with pressure gauge. Got the injectors, head, block, alternator, transmission. I'm not sure what transmission this is. I need to ask him. I think it's probably an LS, but I mean distributor. I mean everything, bro. This is basically the whole entire swap. And while I was at his house, shout out to Ramon once again, bro. Thank you so much for hooking me up with this because it's definitely helping us out quite a bit to get the car back up and running. But while I'm at his house, he wasn't there unfortunately, so I didn't get to meet him, but his cousin was there and helped me load all this shit up. Uh, I talked to him on the phone and he's like, hey, I'll throw in a B16 transmission as well. So that's what this is right here is a cable B16 transmission that he had to sit on the side of his house. Over $500, we got this entire swap. So two transmissions, the long block and all the accessories with it. In which of course he gave me his word that this thing's running good and everything. But dude, to be honest with you, like this thing could have a, a, a rod knock and it'd still be worth $500, you know what I mean? But he said it was running strong when he pulled it from the Integra. He included some videos and stuff because I was, I was talking to him back and forth on Snapchat, so. Hell yeah, dude, I'm definitely stoked. This is a B20B block, so I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure if it just has the, 
the the one letter without a number after it that normally means that's a jdm block i mean not not like it's you know anything spectacular or anything but which means it was probably an hmo engine at one time i don't know i don't see an hmo stamp on it but either way got a pr3-3 head which is freaking awesome because it, which means that my intake manifold and everything is going to bolt up with no problem but that's not the end of the story dude and that's not the end of the reason why i say shout out to the db fam for being the reason why i'm even in a position to have a full swap to put into the car i'm sorry i'm doing a lot of talking right now i just i have to get this out guys because huge shout out not only to ramon but a huge shout out to a guy named tommy as well he is as well a member of the db fam and he hit me up after seeing the video of the car blowing its engine damn fly Tommy hit me up. I'm going to put his Instagram on the screen right now. So go give him a follow because this dude hooked it up big time. He hit me up and he's like, bro, I want to donate uh, some money to help with the build. And you guys already know how I am, man. I don't like just taking like, like charity. I, I, I don't want to call it charity because it's not really that. But I just, I don't like accepting money, bro. Like I like to work for everything that I get. For you guys that's been with me for a while through the through us losing the last house, you guys already know that. But we did come to a deal. What I'm gonna do, because he donated $500. It's the $500 that went to buying this whole entire swap. So most certainly without Ramon and Tommy, both of them together, we wouldn't be having this engine sitting here to be able to get the Khaki Civic running. But the deal is, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass that good deed back down to the community, to you guys. So what it, so what's gonna happen is, not yet, I'll let you guys know when they are up on the merch store, what's gonna happen is I am gonna make $500 worth of stickers and I'm gonna give it to you guys for free. Now they're not up on the site yet, so don't go, don't go and look. I'll let you guys know whenever I get it done because I wanna make sure I have the stickers made and ready to go before I announce it so that, you know, it's basically gonna be a first come, first serve type of thing. But yeah, that's just my way of working for what it is that he donated. He did a good deed by donating the $500 towards the build and I'm just passing that good deed back down to the DB fam, to the community, and giving out $500 worth of stickers to you guys. I wanna tear this thing down. I don't know completely yet. We are going to do a compression test on it. Um, I want to obviously clean it up really well. Maybe paint it. Just a quick, not, nothing like what we did with the engine that's in there. Just something really quick, dude. Like just to clean it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more presentable. Obviously, I want to do a lot of the gaskets, like the rear main, the front main, the valve cover gasket. Um, I'm going to do a leak down, check the head gasket, make sure everything's good. Because if we have to, I do already have a head gasket sitting aside for this. And I could pull the ARP head studs off of that engine because they've only been torqued once bro and this is just a stock setup and I'm really excited about that being a stock setup it'll be a little bit more reliable and I won't feel as guilty beating on it you know what I'm saying so just to give you guys once more of a look over it's a PR3 head so a B16 head this is a B20B bottom end uh, came with the replica I'm pretty sure it's a replica, right? The Mugen valve cover, AEM fuel rail, and it's got the little fuel pressure uh, gauge on there. Uh, it looks like it's probably some stock injectors. And Skunk 2 intake manifold, and I think he said that this was actually a Skunk 2 throttle body. It's, yeah, it's a Skunk 2 throttle body as well. Um, came with the distributor. I think this is an LS transmission. I'm not 100% sure yet, but this is a cable transmission as well as that one. He says that one's a B16, so. But hell yeah, dude, I'm definitely stoked. I hope you guys are as stoked as I am, man, because this just means that the Khaki Civic will be up and running in no time. Boy, what are you doing over here, man? We have a garage to clean. What are you doing? Just what are you doing? Why do you, why do you flinch like that? You make people think that I hit you or something. Ooh. <laughs> Anyhow guys, this is just a really quick video. I wanted to show you guys the engine. I wanted to get this out here so that you guys can get as excited as I am and most certainly give a huge shout out to Tommy and Ramon, both of you guys. I mean, I mean that from my heart, dude. Genuinely, thank you guys so much because you have helped me out tremendously dude um and I, i'm just i'm excited now i'm most certainly i'm excited for the future because now that we have this to put into the car now i can just focus 
on what we're gonna build on the side to make the khaki civic just a monster bro because you guys already know the khaki civic it just has to be a monster it has to be and who knows we might end up turboing this setup you know just for the shits and giggles but i'm gonna run in the house and get this video up for you guys really quick and then braven and i are gonna continue cleaning this damn garage up and getting it ready for all the work that we have to do over the next couple of weeks man this garage is definitely a freaking pigsty bro and these are still for sale somebody wants them me up 300 bucks i also have this side of the house right here that we got to clean up stock suspend dude this has kind of been my catch-all this is embarrassing i don't even know why i'm showing you guys right now but i got a freaking thing full of oil back there that's the reason why i've been throwing all these empty buckets over here so that i could put all my old oil into these buckets and take them down to an auto zone or something i gotta get my brother's truck cleaned up i gotta get that damn bug done and the hell out of here i still have quite a bit to do man but anyhow guys peace out i'll see you on the next one where we'll probably be cleaning this engine up and looking into it a little bit further and throwing some new gaskets on it dude peace